I understand that you used to buy all your CDs from a place called Nick's before they <laughs> shut down. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, Shout out to Nick, <laughs> man. You actually handed this to me at All City Kicks in Grand Rapids a couple months ago. Where? Back where? You was at the with Willie the Kid. However, I do have a lighter with me. Uh huh. So I will ask you the burning question. Wow, the burning. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's impressive. Till the day that they bury John, I'll probably run marathons. Run rappers that's fairly average. It's scary. I'm really wrong. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm Damon Campbell with HotNewHipHop.com here outside of Sub Training in Chicago with a very special guest. What's Would up? you like to introduce yourself? Man, it's the people's rapper John Connor. Y'all know what it is. What's up? Been a while, man. It's been a minute, man. <laughs> Uh, definitely appreciate your time. Yeah, I appreciate it. Absolutely. Now, uh, prior to John Connor, I understand you actually uh, originally started rapping under the name Duso. Yeah, that was me, man, Young Duso. Was there any kind of backstory behind it or anything? Yeah, I'm named after my father, so that made me the second. So that made me Deuce. The O <laughs> came in elementary school. That's just what the homies called me. You know what I'm saying? It just rolled off the tongue, Duso. You know what I'm saying? So that just was what it was. Oh, okay. Man. That's crazy. You went way far back for that one. I tried, man. I had to. That's what's up. For old time's sake. Yeah, yeah. That's what's <laughs> up, though. Yeah, Duso. Anybody in Flint know what's up. If they say Deuce, Duso, Deucey, they talking about me, man. So that's what it is, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, John Connor, of course, referencing the character in the terminator yeah now the terminator always came back as promised uh not the case as i understand however when you would say that you were taking bathroom breaks at your former jobs yeah 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 like what was that all about i mean man like <laughs> <laughs> like man back then i used to like uh, that was true enough that's crazy i used to say short prayers in the bathroom man that's crazy man that's real <laughs> crazy man respect this man for doing the research and listening to the music man it's dope <laughs> to do an interview with somebody actually listen to the music and appreciate the lines but it's a line that i said in the music about saying short prayers in the bathroom and that was real when i used to uh i used to work at a fast food restaurant in flint man and anytime I took a lunch break, straight up, I almost would be in tears like, God, please let me make it do a music because I can't do this fast food thing, man. Yeah. But that's really what it was, man. It was, you know, I did what I had to do to get where I, I wanted to be at, man. And that job was really just providing for me to make music. So it was just like I hated it so much and I love music so much. Yeah. But it was like I needed money to fuel my passion, which was music. So I used to just to keep my sanity going, say prayers in the bathroom and shake it off and yeah. then get back to work and sometimes maybe not even return yeah man yo the last day what walking off the job was the best feeling i ever had in the world yeah man. i can yeah. imagine straight up and uh speaking of returning uh uh, were you ever able to get your uh, Master P I'm About It movie back by chance? Oh, that's crazy, man. Look at this, <laughs> man. This, this what's up, man. <laughs> yeah, dog. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I end up having to uh, rebuy it again. Because, oh, you know, really? yeah, you know, I'm a big Master P No Limit fan. Shouts to my big homie KLC from Beast by the Pond. We, uh, we just kicked it in, uh, where was we at? In L.A. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, No Limit Master P, that was like what really started me to wanting to rap or wanting to be an entrepreneur anyway. Yeah, and that yeah. had actually been like taken from you in school or something like that? Yeah, that was crazy, man. Dog, that's crazy. Yeah, it did. <laughs> like, yeah. Do you remember the context? I do, man. That's crazy, dog. Like, this ain't even like rap questions. These like just Jan Freeman real life yeah. questions. That's crazy. Absolutely. Yeah, man. Um, my movie got taken from me. A homeboy of mine named Eric Hines. That's still one of my best friends to this day. Yeah. He wanted to borrow the movie I'm about it from me when I was in the seventh <laughs> grade. And I remember my teacher, Miss Wilbur, took it from me because you know I, the contents of it was crazy. You know, say so it was talk about dope dealing and they had females on the front but yeah i got my movie taken from me so i end up having to buy it again crazy. so that's crazy absolutely yeah i never got it back damn well glad to hear you got one now yeah yeah um is it true that you even had gotten into de detention for rap and forgot about Dre, ironically enough? That is crazy. Yeah, I definitely did. I used to uh, get in trouble all the time for, like, rapping and doing artistic stuff in school. Like, I would um, I would normally be drawing or writing raps or something like that, and normally that would result in me getting a pink slip and end up having to, uh, <laughs> having to sit in the office <laughs> yeah. at lunchtime, man. And here you are. And here I am, man. But, uh... 
Uh, I understand Exhibit kind of helped uh, set up that first appointment there with the doc. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy, man, because, you know, uh, me, my partners, Young Sav, Mo Cleaves, like, we have been doing this for a minute. We've been grinding for a minute. Yeah. So it was just like, man, we was grinding, 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 and that got the attention of Exhibit, you know what I'm saying, who had the relationship with the big homie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And as a result of that, like, he always told me when we was on that tour in Canada, like, yo, if it's anything I could ever do to help, you know, I'm going to do it. So one day he hit me like, yo, I got an idea. I'm going to let Dr. Dre hear your music. So it was just, you know, after that, as they say, the rest is history, man. Yeah. Like two days later, he was like, yo, Doc said, can you be in California at 9 o'clock tomorrow? And I'm wow. coming from Michigan. So I'm like, man, I'd have, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. I'd have hitchhiked to California that day. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Straight up. Hell yeah. Yeah. And uh, speaking of medical emergencies, so to say, yeah. uh, I understand there was uh, like an incident involving a hanger when you were little. Yeah, I got a, I got a, I got a dimple. Wow. Anyway, I got a dimple. <laughs> First of all, let me talk to the people real quick. The people's rapper. I'm going to talk to the people. The questions that he asked me right now, is these ain't even <laughs> rap questions, dog. This is like my real life that he asking. The hanger in my <laughs> mouth, dog. Why do you even know that? <laughs> Just try to come prepared, man, for all time's sake. It's crazy. Set. Yeah, man. The story about the hanger, <laughs> man, is I got a dimple in my mouth, man, from, like, from when I was a baby. And I don't know what I was doing, but I think my mom said I was like two years old, and I had stuck a hanger in my mouth, and I tried to pull it out the other side. I don't know what the, <laughs> yeah. I don't know what the logic in that was, but it had got stuck in my mouth, and I still got the uh, dimple to this day. And it, it was just crazy. But, yeah, I got a dimple because uh, <laughs> because I stuck the hanger in my mouth. Yeah. Dog, what? What? <laughs> Wait, what you what you what, what you been listening to, man? Just, just, just trying to do my job, man. I feel That's you, all. man. You doing an excellent job, man. Straight up, no, we got to shake hands. Appreciate on that. it, man. Straight up, man. Glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, I am, man. And uh, now, uh, R. Kelly was, of course, uh, knows a thing or two about being trapped in the closet. Uh, and I understand you've uh, even played played ball with him before. Yeah, yeah, definitely did, man. Uh, R. Kelly came to Mott community college it was about three four years ago my big bro mo cleaves man like i don't i don't know how it happened but somehow kells and my big bro had a relationship to where i guess before shows kells like to play basketball you like you know what i'm saying and i got so much respect for him because i sat and watched r kelly play like four or five games of basketball going hard yeah. and then i sat and watched him go like two hours at a show you know what i mean but it was it was one of the dopest experience for me early on in my career because r kelly actually sat down and took the time to talk to me yeah. and give me you know what i'm saying direction and actually give me words of encouragement and you know told me like you know pointers on what to do and what not to do and i really appreciate that so you know what I'm saying? he probably don't even remember that that was me you know what i'm saying <laughs> right. but if r kelly see this kells if you see this that was me that day in flint michigan man we sat and kicked it <laughs> you know what i'm saying but no it's cool man i got nothing but respect one of the greatest of all time and it's funny we in his city right now yeah. chicago so love Love to R. Kelly, man. Absolutely. Now, yeah. before we wrap this up, uh, is there anything else? That, is there anything that we uh, should be looking forward to from John Connor? Because I heard you had a, a ch another uh, chat with the doc today. Yeah, yeah. It's. A, I mean, it's a beautiful thing, man. Like one of the dopest things about being on Aftermath is like Doc always put your life in your hands you know yeah. what i'm saying and your music in your hands your career in your hands so it's just man i couldn't ask to be a part of a better you know situation and the history and the lineage of just aftermath you know what i'm saying like that speak for itself and it's yeah. a certain it's a certain connotation that comes along with being signed to aftermath that i'm proud to be a part of so Absolutely. it's just anything that's coming next from the kid john kind of just expect greatness because doc ain't gonna let it come out if it ain't you not know what i'm saying and i'm not gonna let it come out if it ain't greatness oh, yeah. you know what i'm saying so Absolutely. that's what we doing over there. We striving toward greatness. Y'all know what it is. All varsity aftermath, man. That's what's up, man. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was man, a pleasure dog, chatting with I you. Man, can I tell you, man, next time we run into each other, <laughs> I'm going to get facts on you, dog. Okay. I'm, I'm going to figure out what <laughs> elementary school you went to. I'm going to bring your ex-girlfriend out here. All that, dog. We going we gonna, we gonna to put it on camera, dog. Fair like said, No, I'm playing because, no, that, that's crazy that you knew about that. It's crazy. How new hip-hop give them a raise, dog. Like straight up, for real. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Appreciate uh, it, man. Anything else you want to say to the people out there watching? Man, the album is coming. It's on executive producer Dr. Dre, Aftermath, Flint, Michigan, stand up. Y'all see what it is all day, every day. All varsity, young Sad Mo Cleaves. What up? Y'all see what it is. Dr. Dre, what up, boy? <laughs> there you have it. Once again, I'm Damon Campbell, and this is John Connor. People's rapper. Uh. Thanks for watching. Yeah. 
dog. This is so fucking funny, dog. I swear to God. When I stayed on like um in on the north. What's good? This your girl Dreezy. Shout out to HotNewHipHop.com. What up? What up? It's your boy King Los checking out HotNewHipHop.com. Hey man, it's your man Jocka. Right now you're tuning in the hot. <laughs> Kevin Gates, cause he eat booty. He never tired. He eat booty. Breadwinner Association and Master P daughter.